Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best music video effects inside of Premiere Pro. Make sure you guys stay to the very end because there's so much sauce in this video. Let's hop right into it. So in the timeline, we have this NBA Youngboy music video. And to start off, we're going to be creating a fire camcorder effect. Going up into effects here, we could search up mosaic. And you want to go down to stylize here and drag and drop this on your footage. Now it's going to make your footage look super crazy. Just ignore that for now. Next, we're going to go over to effect controls. And we're going to change these horizontal and vertical blocks to a higher number like 150. And you guys can see instantly we get kind of this 8 bit footage. So the higher you bring it the smaller the boxes are going to get do 250 by 250 and then we still have this glitch so let's try 400 by 400 and boom if we compare that to with it off then with it on we already have a camcorder look almost there so next we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply some noise onto here and then we're going to apply this one right here under noise and grain and drag and drop that on your footage as well and then go back into effect controls and you want to turn up your noise here to about 30 and to make this look extra good what we could do for example just to show you guys we're going to turn it to 50 here and we're going to drag it below the mosaic so you guys can see the noise kind of has some color in it now so if we go ahead and turn this up even more we get more of an intense effect that i really like so we're almost there a couple more effects that you guys can toss on is if we search up tint here we drag and drop this on top of our clip as well we can go inside of effect controls now and we can map the white to whatever we want so you guys can see tint makes the footage black and white so let's say we map the white to a red color it's going to make the footage black and red which looks super cool and you guys can fully customize this to whatever color you want but we're going to make it green but then we're going to go to the amount to tint and we're going to turn it down so we're going to add just a little bit of a green tint in there and boom i think that's a clean camcorder effect right there there's a bunch of overlays you guys can download on youtube or you guys can put sound design in as well to add a little bit more of an effect to it or i have a bunch of presets linked down below that you guys can just drag and drop on your footage as you guys can see there there's one effect here's the camcorder effect but in black and white here is a night vision effect that comes in the preset pack the super fire outline effect here and then these cool scan line ones as well if you guys are interested in this it'll be linked below it's called the opium looks pack all right so next we're going to be covering this slow shutter effect here i played this through for you guys Dang shit, dang shit, don't come around, you ain't gangsta, bitch. So basically to create this effect here, you're going to go inside of effects and you're going to drag on posterized time right here. And then you're also going to drag on something called echo right here also inside of time. So inside of your effect controls now, you want to open up posterized time and you're going to make the frame rate six. And then under echo here, you're going to copy these exact settings here. And your footage will go from this shit, don't come around, you ain't gangsta, bitch. to something like this. Around, you ain't gangsta, bitch. Catch you out, we gon pop. I also have presets for this linked below. You guys can drag and drop the multiple presets on to see how they look. If we do the daytime one, you guys can see. Don't come around, you ain't gangsta bitch. Next, we're gonna be covering a super cool glow effect. So to do this glow effect, what you wanna do is hold option on your keyboard and click and drag your clip up. So you're gonna have two of them. Now on this top clip here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and unlink it from the audio. And we're gonna search up blur and we're gonna drag on Gaussian blur. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and turn the Gaussian blur up. And now we're gonna go inside of effects and search something called Luma key. Now dragging and dropping the Luma key on now, what this is gonna do if we turn it off and then turn the bottom layer off as well, we can see the Luma key is really just keying out the areas. So if we only want the whites to show uh, just like this, what we could then do is turn on the Gaussian blur then blur it a little bit more and then turn the whites like that. If we turn this back on, you guys can see the whites are sort of glowing there. You wanna go ahead and go and turn this to screen now. And you wanna make sure that the Gaussian blur is below the Luma key here. So you guys can see if I turn the Gaussian blur up, it's gonna make it glow a lot more. And and then you can also play with these settings as well here but you can make your footage or certain aspects of it glow super easily using these tricks the before and then the after here it just adds a little bit more sauce to your footage especially like you see is white tea on this one clip it's crazy we're gonna go into project and right click and then click new item and then click adjustment layer and then hit okay so we're gonna drag our adjustment layer inside of here and you guys can see mine is automatically small whereas yours probably isn't gonna be small what you want to do is make sure your adjustment layer is six frames you can count this out by going with your arrow keys. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna put this in between our two clips. And pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this for every transition in between. So you guys can see here, I'm gonna drag and drop that in between our two clips. And then we're gonna make a couple more just to put to the side because we're also gonna be using the hits, shakes, and wipes in the middle of the clips too. So to show you guys how this works here, we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these hit transitions and we're just gonna randomly drop them. We have some wipes too. Uh, we'll do this one here. You guys can see here. That one is so fire when he whips the hand. So we have this one here. Or after yeah, this one as well. If we want it to hit in the middle of the clip here, we can drag and drop one right here. And let's go ahead and throw on one of these hits here. I like the soft hit with flash right here. We'll drag and drop that on. 
Just add so much more motion to a clip that really doesn't have energy. Before, and then after. Right wherever the beat hits. Make the video move with the beat. Especially if you put them on where the it. You guys can see how crazy it is right there. If you guys want to grab any of the editing packs that I use in this video, they will be linked below. And if you guys use code 15 off, you can save yourself 15% off everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.